Oh yeah, it's doing a good job. It's, we're moving, this is a great test. DJI have entered the 360 degree camera space in the form of the Osmo 360. Now, 360 degree cameras don't mean anything without a solid editing program to back them. And today's video is all about the DJI Studio application on desktop. I'll be using an M1 version of the MacBook Air behind me. I find that this opens up more functionality. I'm able to use the tracking feature and it just runs a lot smoother on this system. Uh, and so we can see, I can literally just scrub through here. I can click on it to select the clip, right? And then from here, I can click and drag. So this is where I can go into the full 360 preview. I'll start dragging some clips in here. So all you do is click and drag, drop it on the timeline like so. Um, you can go through the timeline and preview everything. Again, I'm quite impressed that I've got an M1 MacBook Air here. This is 8K footage, 30 frames per second, and it's pretty smooth. And now we're going to go into this video here because I'm curious whether it's actually going to track the puppy. So this time, click on intelligent tracking again. So we'll go with that and we'll start tracking. Oh, it lost it. See how it's like quite intelligent. It, it tries to keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, this is so easy to do and the results are great here. Really impressed with this. If we took more time and if we put more love into it, you could create a very cool project here. It's competent, very, very competent. This software works beautifully with the camera system. And yeah, I can't wait for other people to use it. And uh, let, let me know, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, if you've started using it. Can't wait to, uh, yeah, create some more content on the Osmo 360. My review will be coming very soon, so keep an eye out for that.